can't believe I forgot my intro. Like, I don't know what's going on. I just, it's not clicking. Let's try this again. Hey y'all, welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Nardia. And if you're an old timer, thank you. Thank you for still sticking around and deciding to watch this video. You could fly a kite with our shoes off, boss on the boom box, weather never too hot. Little breeze is all I need and off to the races. Watch it fly like a spaceship. You're taking me places, starry eyed and complete. So let's address some things really quick off the bat. I haven't uploaded a video in about six months and I really apologize. Mostly because I should have let you guys know or I should have made an announcement before I just disappeared like that. So I do apologize for that. So let's break down and talk about what happened and why I have been MIA for about six months, I want to say. The first reason is the main reason. Well, I don't know if it's the main, main one, but the first reason is I hate editing you guys. There have been so many times when I've recorded clips or recorded things to show you guys, but when it comes time to editing those clips, I just don't enjoy the editing process. I enjoy this, the filming, I enjoy showing, I enjoy teaching, I enjoy sharing, but I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy the editing. So that's what has kept me back mostly. The second thing is, in case you guys are new here, I recently moved from New York City to across <laughs> from the East Coast. I'm now in the Midwest. I live in Ohio. So that move is not like moving from one house to the next in the same city, same state. No, I moved across all the way to Ohio, which I'm completely happy here. I absolutely love, 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 love living here. But with that move, I needed also to take the time to really settle in this house and really get this house up and running. So that also took some time for me. And a part of me wished I had documented and recorded the things that I did, like the painting, the changing, the decor, but I just wanted to get into it and get it done. So that also took some time away. And then also, in case you're new here, <laughs> I recently changed my entire career you know basically for my entire life years I worked in corporate I worked in finance I worked for a bank my entire career was in banking and I really climbed the corporate ladder and made it really high up in banking and moving here I am now a stay-at-home mom and I absolutely love it absolutely love it I loved my career while I was in that season but now I'm in this season where I'm basically a stay-at-home mom with the exception, I do have my side business businesses, like my Etsy shop. We have an Airbnb that I um, make sure we take care of and different things. But predominantly, I am no longer in the corporate world. I predominantly stay at home mom. Just thankful and grateful, mostly because I live a more stress-free life, simpler life, more intentional life. And I'm just eternally grateful to be able to have the opportunity to do that. So that also took a while for me to just get into this <laughs> different lifestyle. And what else kept me away? And also, I knew there was something else. I was forgetting something else. I needed a social media break, to be honest, you guys. If you check out my Instagram, I haven't posted on Instagram since either. Just I, need, I just needed a break from social media because Sometimes it can be a lot. I'm not completely against social media, but sometimes it can be a lot. And I find that certain Instagram, certain social medias like Instagram and TikTok were a little bit overwhelming for me in some ways where I would compare myself and I would think, you know, I'm not doing enough. YouTube will always be my safe space in a way where I can research and look at things that I want to watch. But Instagram and TikTok, I stayed away for a little bit and then that just rolled over into YouTube. So I had my little social media break also, which felt really good and it still feels good. And I am dabbling back into social media, but not as, you know, not, yeah. But so that was six minutes or seven minutes of your time of me explaining that. But I think the next time I do decide to take a break, 
the right thing to do is to announce it to you guys so you guys know because i did have people reach out to me like hey what's going on are you okay and i really really do appreciate that so thank you so with that said what's next well i recently got back from new york today is july 26th and we were in new york for about a week and a half so i recently got back and when we came back from new york you guys my garden outside just weeds and weeds and things were overgrown so when we first bought this house the garden was a work in progress it was mostly green shrubs so i did take the time earlier this year to i'm working in different sections my main focus was the front yard and the back personal garden space by my office there are other places that's going to take me maybe next year or the year after to work on because the space that I have now, and I'm looking outside, compared to what I came from in New York, is totally different. In New York, I had like a little, which I was grateful for, but now I have. <laughs> but so I worked on all of that from spring until now, and I really worked on digging out the weeds and getting it together and planting in abundance a lot of plants, mostly perennials. And I came back and it's just so much weeds, a lot of them were dying out. So I really need to work on that. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to go outside. I'm going to show you guys a clip of how it's looking. It's still coming together. These gardens, I know they're going to take me years to get them established the way I want them to. But it's coming together. So I really want to go outside and work on that first before the sun comes out because once the sun comes out especially in the front of my house done gardening done because it gets too hot it hot 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 but all day so i want to get that done early and be done with that so let's go do that right now also one more thing before i do that i did decide i'm going to be sharing a little bit more of my everyday life not just what i do in the studio for my etsy shop but Things that I do on an everyday basis on this channel. It's going to include more of my everyday life, including my gardening, my housework, my side businesses, but a lot of it will be my Etsy shop. So just letting you guys know, get ready for that. Okay, now let's go outside. <laughs> let's go and work on this garden. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we came back from New York. And my garden looks a hot mess. Like the grass is overgrown. Let me show you guys. Look at this. <laughs> the grass is overgrown. This is how high the grass is. It comes up. The grass is overgrown. Uh, it's just a mess. Um, over here. Definitely need to sweep and sweep and sweep. The gazebo's covered up, so that's good. I mean, these babies are doing good. My roses have <laughs> died back. I need to cut this back. Some things died up. My sunflower, though. She's looking cute, but I have more sunflowers that needs to open. It's just been a hot mess. And if you guys don't know this, I, we recently moved here about a year now, and this is brand new garden bed. What I mean, it looks like, you see how back there looks like just wilderness? That is technically how back here looked. And I just, this is my personal garden bed as I call it because it's directly behind my office so this is actually my studio and my office right here and then right there focus that other part is my closet and my you know my beauty room so this is where I plant the wild fairy you know all the whimsical flowers and stuff so there are a lot of patches because I'm slowly developing this garden bed and over time, it's going to be gorgeous. But you guys, look at the look at all these weeds. All of this is just weeds. 
weeds, all of this greenery is weeds. Weeds, 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 weeds. That my hydrangea is looking okay. This is just things that died, and more things are just dying. Ugh. Fly a kite with our shoes off, bus on a boom box, weather never too hot, little breezes, all I need it off to the races, watch it fly like a spaceship, you're taking me places, starry eyed and complacent. Would you catch the wind and go, see it sail the breeze up? Just came back in from doing all that garden work. Unfortunately, my camera, um, when I started doing the garden in the front, the battery died, so you guys didn't see everything. But I basically cut back all the pink flowers, cut it back from, they were gone too far back. And those pink flowers are called uh, Bubblegum. Super, super, they're from the company called Proven Winners, and they're Super Tunia Bubblegum. They, I, they were, I planted like three of them. They were so small. They, they grow aggressive, aggressive. So now I know for next year, be careful with that. And I also weeded the entire front garden bed. Had to put the hair in a messy, really messy bun. But child. But yeah. Next thing I wanted to work on is, I am definitely going. I've been in the process of revamping the shop, my Etsy shop. In case you guys don't know, I have an Etsy shop. The link will be in the description bar. It's called Nardia K Creations. It's a sticker and stationery shop. And maybe I'll expand some more things eventually down the line. But right now it's just sticker and stationery. So I started this shop in 2020. So it's fresh. It's just been a year and change. It's going to be a two years in November. I started on Black Friday 2020. So Black Friday this year will be two years. So I want to revamp and change up some things based on learning and experience and things change over time so I have a list of a lot of things that I definitely want to work on but I'm going to not overwhelm myself and I'm going to work on them one by one little by little over the next few months and that's just how the business goes it changes it progresses and as you learn things change and that's good it's a beautiful thing first thing is my journal i'm sure you guys have seen this many times if you guys are old timer this is one of the first journals that i ever created i made these books here myself it looks like this i'll put a picture better on the screen i love absolutely love writing the journals i use mine all the time mine is like well used really i i write in this bad boy i write in here um but what i want to change about it is it is a hardcover journal, and I use, I forgot what the material is called that I used to make it. 
chipboard chipboard and I like that it's hardcover it just adds a little bit I just like that however being that it's hardcover it does take me a very long time to make them because I make it by hand from start to finish everything is made by hand from cutting the chipboard down to side down to the size that I want to get the image on it to get in. everything is made by hand and I want to see just if I test it, like if I make one, instead of using chipboard, if I use, if I make the cover like more plastic, if that makes sense, like this, like this is my planner. And you see how it's more plastic? I didn't make this, but if I want to make it in this type, rather than chipboard, it will be faster for me to make it, and a little bit less expensive, I believe, and... I just want to see how it would look if I make it that way because sometimes making it with the chipboard is a little bit a little bit time consuming and I make more mistakes and then I have to start all over but this jar right here if you guys don't have it you guys are missing out missing out missing out so that is the main thing I want to work on today before I do my other household chores and other things so let's work on making this a little bit different and let's see how we like it. The vibes right ahead in the clouds. You're missing me through the skylight. When we meet eyes, it's a highlight. We can make this forever, forget finite. We can do this all the time, feeling fine. Like we should, we could eat good. Make a stop downtown, hang around. Tell me about your week, just vibe out. We can let the good times roll. You got a hand to hold. This will never get old. Why you cutting with our shoes off? Boss on the boom box. Weather never too hot. Little breeze is all I need. Watch it fly like a spaceship You're taking me places Starry eyed and complacent Okay you guys, it is done Let's talk about it This is the new one With the bendable Cover It does feel lighter but This is how it looks And then The line pages I do realize some mistakes that I made that I can fix for next time. Like, for example, the page cuts off too much down here. I need to bring more yellow down for the front cover. And this is the back. And this is the old one with the heart cover. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So, honestly, it is easier to make this one. I kind of like it better because... The process of making this one, this part is the same as far as punching the holes and cutting it, but it's just the cover itself is a little bit harder to make on this one because first I have to cut the chipboard down to size and then after that I have to use sticker paper and line it up against here and then I have to fold the sticker paper and line it up against here too and then I, I have more errors with the sticker paper because, because if it doesn't go down correctly, I have to repeal the sticker paper and then that messes up the thing that I have to start over again. Oh, I was exposing all this entire video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I'm glad I was able to accomplish that today. So if you're interested in this, right now the shop is currently closed. I'm not sure when you're watching this. But right now, it's, like I said, it's July 26, 2022. And the shop is currently closed because we were on vacation for a week and a half. So it was closed during that time. But now I'm going to reopen the shop August 1st, 2022 again. And I should have this listed, hopefully. But if you're interested, check the link in my description bar and you will see when this comes in. Good morning, you guys. It is, that's a lie, it's Wednesday today. Is it Wednesday though? Yes, it's Wednesday. <laughs> I had to look at my calendar. Um, so yesterday, as you guys saw, I completed the new journals. So I do have to photograph them today or at some point and get them relisted on the Etsy website. Once again, I'm reopening the site on August 1st because we're on vacation mode while I was away. And what else? It is such a gloomy day today. It is a very cloudy. So this it's not as bright in here and I do film with natural light. So it, this portion of the video might be very dark. But today, I have errands to run, we have things to do, so I'm going to get some things done in the backyard early while it's still kind of cool outside, and that's it, let's just go. 
Let's go get those things done. We're going to be doing a lot of deadheading today. So I'm gonna deadhead my roses, throw up some things, and just clean up a little bit. I don't think I'll have time to weed, but a lot of deadheading and just trimming up some things. This rose bush was a clearance bush that I got from Walmart. And it's surviving. I need to get it in the ground though because it's still in the pot. But it's doing good. I realize my roses, they are very damaged by rose slugs. I've already learned so much that I want to implement. But next year gardening, Got some tomatoes. <laughs> so you guys, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I think I'm gonna sign off now. I showed you stuff that's going on in the Etsy shop, link below in the description bar, and some few things I got done around the house. But thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. If you feel inclined to, if you feel moved to, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to comment and like this video. Bye, you guys.